discuss to you a little bit about what I, I understand about uh, uh, science, about the universe. That's what we're talking about. Uh, this video, we're going to talk a little bit about is SRT wrong? Is GRT wrong? General and special relativity. I want to, uh, if you read my earlier two videos, or the first one, where uh, this is SRT, uh, the second half. Uh, my book is the second half of uh, relativity, let's say. I call it quanta physics, quanta study. And anyways, I want to uh, try to explain something in this video that I think is pretty important. And that's the fact that uh, relativity asserts a speed limit on travel based on light. Light having no mass and uh, traveling at the speed of light. But just because light doesn't have mass, is that put a speed limit on velocity? Could there be like, like well, he talks about tachyons. Tachyons are supposedly uh, travel faster than light. Uh, but how much fast? If you want to know about uh, how fast something can travel, read my book. But to any event, uh, I discovered something that is not in my book, but Einstein asserts, and not only did he he bases his theory on gravity, as I explained in my other two videos, and light, but matter. Matter is the key situation here. Matter, he asserts, because of light has a speed limit. Gravity, he asserts, is what puts the speed limit on, on everything. Uh, what I want to try to express, I hope you can catch the meaning in the way I have, but uh, matter in essence, if not Based on those limits, I think has a higher limit. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, under, under the theory of relativity, uh, it's limited traveling through a gravitational atmosphere like Earth, the speed of light. Uh, in space, that's changed twice the speed of light. That's in my book. That's the second half. And the reason is because there's no gravity acting on it, and the and the the uh, propulsion uh, used to, that, to reach light speed in the Earth's atmosphere with gravity is released and ink, and because there's no gravity, allows for FTL, or traveling at twice the speed of light. But I want to take this, this these events or, or conclusions in science and try to say that let's ba base the speed of light on space. Let's keep mass or matter out of the equation. Okay, you have light is limited to light speed. You have space, the expansion of space and the universe, the speed of light. have probably nothing to do with each other. But let's, taking mass out of the equation, or the planets and everything, or, see, gravi gravity is a matter of planetary development. It's, it's the forces in a planetary sphere, the uh, uh, sun, moon, all of them, that it stems from outside the matter part, above the surface, and in the atmosphere, 
mass, planetary objects to create an atmosphere. And since that atmosphere is different than empty space itself, uh, it's not empty. That's why it's an atmosphere created from the, the core and elements of the planet. But in essence, Einstein has taken energy and mass in his equation E equals mc squared and assumed that the speed of light is the universal speed limit. But when you find that uh, you're looking at interstellar space, you find that the expansion, if the universe is expanding at the speed of light and a planet is resides within that terrain, the planets are already without any any help from anywhere traveling at the speed of light. So the concept and the equations uh, are what create the boundaries or barriers between velocity, mass, and energy, which means that uh, mass and gravity, which are the elements of the planetary sphere, and its development, that empty space, dark matter, uh, being different, uh, is has its own equations and uh, barriers. Um, what I'm trying to say is, matter in essence to energy does not have a barrier. Enough energy create is not limited to light speed. Like I told, said in my earlier video, between the golf ball and the and the amount of energy in a golf ball and the amount of energy in the in the uh, basketball, they're not the same. The propulsion value to search those is not the same. The velocity, therefore, is not the same. Um, if you do it in reverse and take the golf ball and insert all the energy in, into the golf ball that's in the basketball, the golf ball is going to shoot out. Bam! You know what I mean? Where if you take the golf ball's energy and put it in the basketball, the basketball is going to barely move. You understand what I'm saying? There's no the mass, the limit does occur in the Earth's atmosphere with gravity. But the second half, which is the assertion of without gravity, is a whole and complete new field of experience and ex exper uh, experimentation barriers, etc. And I think this is what is important, what is vaguely important. E energy equals mass equals zero, then energy equals zero. You know, at the speed of light, energy equals zero, mass equals zero. Velocity of light, that's, that's an equation for light. Energy equals a mass. Depending on that mass would depend, but is it limited to the speed of light? Uh, I wonder what happens to mass at uh, an en energy contact. Okay, the atom bomb. Vag vaguely, uh, yes. Okay, the speed of light is, is a fact, but or the uh, speed limit is in a gravitational state, but not in a non-gravitational state, state. And that's my book, The Non-Gravitational State. Um, I just wanted to bring that out. You know, I'm trying to assert uh, to the public a 